In this video, I'll show you how to make your offline printer become online. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is make sure your printer is turned on. It may have been accidentally turned off or something like that. And then it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you are, or you're connected to the same network as it is. And if it's wired, then just go and plug it in as well to your computer. Something really simple that's worth trying is literally restarting your printer. So just turn it off and then just give it a moment and turn it back on. You could even unplug it as well, just to make sure that it's fully shut down and turn it back on. And that should go and fix the problem. If it doesn't, let's get into this next step. The next thing you need to do is make sure the printer isn't in use printer offline mode. To go and check that, you first need to go and open up your control panel. To get there, go and tap on search and go and type in control panel like so, and it should appear. Then once it opens, I'm gonna go and zoom in on this for you guys. And what you need to do is go and tap on hardware and sound like this. Then you need to go and tap on devices and printers. And if you're using Windows 11, then your settings may open up. If they don't, don't worry, I'll show you what you need to do. Just wait a moment, but if you're using Windows 11, then keep watching. If you're on these settings here, then tap on printers and scanners. Then go and tap on your printer here, whether it's offline or online, just like so. Then what you need to do is scroll down until you go and see the option for more devices and printer settings. And then you'll be on the devices and printers page, but you may have already gotten here if you're on a previous version of Windows. And then what you need to do is scroll down until you go and see printers. And here it is, you may need to go and expand it just by expanding it by clicking on that arrow there. Then go and find the printer you use, which in my case is this one here, the Canon, but yours may be Epson, Dell, Brother, it's all going to depend. Then just go and right click on it like so. And what you need to do is tap and see what's printing, or it may say something like print Q. And then once you're on this page here, go and tap on printer and make sure that use printer offline is not selected. As you can see, mine currently isn't. If it was selected, it's going to go and have a tick next to it. And it's also going to go and say use printer offline to so make sure that that is not selected. So I'm going to undo that now. The next thing we can try is resetting the printing queue. So to do that, come to the bottom of windows and go and tap on search and then go and type in services just like so. And here we are and we'll give it a moment for it to launch. And now what we need to do is go and find the printing option. And the option you need to locate is called printer spooler. So scroll down, it should be in alphabetical order. And here we are, and here it is. So go and locate it like so. And then what you can do is right click on it and go and tap on restart. And then it's gonna go and restart the process. The next thing we can try doing is removing the printer and then reinstalling it. So to do that, all you need to do is go and tap on your search and go back to the control panel like so, and just go and open it up. Then what we need to do is go to hardware and sound and then go to devices and printers. Once again, um, if you're using like a newer version of Windows, you may get this pop up here. Tap on printers and scanners and then go and find your printer. In my case, it's this one here. So I'll go and tap on it. And then what you need to do is go and tap on remove like this. Then go and tap on yes again, and then it's then gonna go and remove it. And then what we need to do is go and re-add it again. So go and tap on add device, and then hopefully it's going to go and find it just like that. And then just go and tap on add device on the right hand side like so, and your device will then go and connect to it like this. And if you're using an older version of Windows, then go and tap on add a device and just go and add it. It's pretty simple. And there we go, guys. I hope one of these methods did work for you. If they did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Peace.